Welcome back, everybody. We're finally at the point to see if we can float the dice. Now the question is, what solution should we use to float the dice? How about you guys comment down below which one of these you think will make it float? Salt, sugar, SM salt, or questionable lime soap? Well, I've got some really, really hot water. So I'm going to pour some of that into these three jars and we'll see if we can get saturated solutions. How much salt do you think we can dissolve? Mm, I think about a cup. About a cup? I probably put too much water in each of these. I am going to reduce that just a little. Okay, here's one third of a cup and the salt. Move that aside so we can see. All right, now for some great question sugar. One third of a cup. Okay, it looks like the sugar has already dissolved, and it looks like the salt has, has dissolved. dissolved. Nope, okay. there's still a little bit of salt at the bottom there. A third of a cup of the Epsom salt. And if you're going to try to do this, you might want to have help, because it's kind of hard to do by yourself. It looks like the sugar is completely dissolved and it looks like the Epsom salts has completely dissolved. So let's add a third cup of sugar. That's two thirds cup of sugar. A quarter cup of salt. And we gotta make sure that we're keeping them separate because if we get them combined, then we don't know if it's pure that and if it's pure that one got it. All right, the sugar, other than some larger lumps, is all mixed is up. All dissolved again. More sugar? Nah. We want a saturated solution. Okay, we need to do more of the Epsom salts too. Yeah, we can. Okay, another third cup of Epsom salts. Do you want know what I've noticed? What? Sugar's making it more yellow like oil. And mm. the salt has been making it more white. No. So the sugar is mostly dissolved with two thirds of a cup. The Epsom salt is, I think we can add more Epsom salt. Hey, it looks like a snow globe. Is that what they use in the snow globes? No. So, should we put in the hey. questionable lime soda now? All right, go ahead and fill up that with the questionable lime soda. And let's let's see. Does it float? Let's see. No. That was straight to the bottom like a rock. Let's try the Wait, Epsom just a sec. Let's see if the Epsom salt's fully dissolved. Alright, we have just a little bit at the bottom. Should we test? Okay. Go ahead and see. Oh. oh, we have a floater. Let's see if the sugar does it. Oh. Sugar floats. Let's see about the normal salt. And salt the salt floats. floats. All right. So, 
we know questionable lime soda will not, the bubbles do not lift the dice. Yep. Now, dice. here's the bigger question. Can we float something more challenging? Mm. How about we see if we can float four sided dice? Oh, we're gonna only do the three because we know questionable lime soda is not going to be able to pass the test. I'll drop that one in. I'll drop this one in. Epsom okay. salt. It sank right to the bottom like a rock. All right, sugar. Right to the bottom like a rock. Salt, right to the bottom like a rock. We can't float any Wait. of the four-sided dice. Wait, maybe. You want to try the question of lime soda again? Yeah. It's going to sink like a rock. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. It's a different kind of die. Right yep. to the bottom like a rock. Okay. So, oh. do you know what this means? We can't float. Salt these. isn't our solution of choice. Sugar, maybe. Epsom salt, I what guess. we're gonna probably say is that we can't float any of the four-sided dice. Yep. No four-sided What about six-sided die? Ooh, I have a question. What? Maybe if those three don't work on any of them, but the 20-sided the die, we should combine them all. Mm. That might make the ultimate solution. And questionable lime soda, we're not even gonna try because it can't float a 20 sided diet, it's not gonna float anything else. All right. Ooh, we got a floater. Mmm, we don't have a floater. And we kind of have a floater. I think we need more sugar. Sugar! But we need a bigger container. We've added another quarter cup of sugar. And... It works! We can float a six-sided dice. With more sugar, can we float the four-sided dice? Let's see. Still sinks like a rock. We've added... A little bit more. There's the fault there. The question is, will it float? Or will it sink? Or will it sink? Alright. What's your opinion? Four-sided dice, sink or float? Sink. Sink. I just So didn't... even bumping up the density of the solution even more. Doesn't doesn't work. Doesn't, does, just doesn't, you want to see something? Just work. Most of the sugar is dissolved again. Don't add more sugar. Why? All right, now we're going to try and see if we can float the 10 sided dice. Yes. 10 the sides, then the 20 sided die. Okay, let's see if it floats. 10 sided yeah. dice floats in Epsom salt. Sinks like a rock in the sugar, even with the higher concentration. Yes, but it's now see salt. Sinks like a rock in salt. Epsom salt seems like he's going to be the winner. Epsom salt does seem like it's going to be the winner. Mm hmm. All right. It's not made anything sink but the four sided dice. dice. Let me adjust the camera and we'll do just a quick thing to show what our intention is and why we're trying to float the dice. So, this is our Epsom salt solution. Uh, we haven't let it clear up, but that's okay. Uh, it's as saturated as we can possibly make it. There's a layer of Epsom salt on the bottom. Bye. So we're gonna put our 20-sided dice in. So what we're looking for 
is we want to see how balanced the dice is. Is it balanced? Meaning every time we roll the dice, it'll be random. It'll be random. Or is there a point or a side that, that will always land up? But what we want to do, keep spinning it. And we're looking to see, okay, what comes up? 15, five. So in this case, we're getting a point. So the point centers around 12, three, 19, four, and seven. Yeah, and it's kind of weird. Okay, this one is 3, 12, 20, 8, 15. Now here is what we want to do. If I take that and I look, at what point it's around is around one side directly around it this is the opposite side from that one and if we have this side we're looking at this grouping so whatever side comes up on the top is the would be a lighter side and you know this is just random Spinning. Spinning. We're not, you know, keeping track. This seems somewhat random, but to really know, you have to do a large set of data and see. I'm seeing like 20s and 12s. Remember, it's... Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of 20s and 12s. You, yeah, but look at the grouping, because this is always coming up to a point. Same one. Hmm. That's very strange. A lot of twenties and twelves. They're right next to each other, so it's kind of strange. Maybe it's just this one side with the twenty and twelve. It's just so wanting to be the twenty and twelve. This time it was different. Mostly because I spin it differently. So we'll come back to that in another video, but we'll show the same thing with a six-sided dice. It's a little harder with this one because it's harder to get to because it's a flat face. This one seemed kind of random. Well, again, you have to do a lot of them. You're hitting the same side, which makes it hit. Try hitting it down into the water, then it has more things to spin. Well, you want, it, you want it to spin. Yeah, you hit it down into the water while spinning, and it spins. Mm -hmm. It gets more spin, because it spins while it goes up. Well, sh sh should we show the same with the 10-sided dice? Yeah. Now you have to remember, you have two axes to uh, worry about with the 10-sided dice. Oh. You so have, we can see whether which point points down. It doesn't seem to have any bias towards the point. Um, both uh, sides do seem to come up eventually. equally. So that's good. And sometimes it's good to have it on the same side like it would flip. But it's not good to have the same number. Now we can try one last dice. Which is the weirdest one of all. This is what they call a crystal dice. And it kind of rolls. Yep. So you can't flip this on its long axis, but that's okay, that's not how you roll it. But you can flip it this way. Yeah. But you want to just roll it along here. So it floats, which is good. All right. Spinning like a wheel. All uh, All right. We'll come back for a much thing. longer data analysis. But, on another time. But for now, remember to ask questions and try things.